The month of March barreling in like a lion. Look at the map from Montana to Virginia, 19 states under winter watches and warnings too bracing for blizzards. And the huge storm they call an Alberta clipper is picking up speed as we head into this night. ABC's Ginger Z is in the storm zone in Minnesota. It's March madness on the roads in Minneapolis. Persistent plowing in North Dakota. Tonight, a storm targets the Twin Cities, then joins forces with another storm from the south. Chicago gets it Tuesday into Wednesday and the Mid-Atlantic Wednesday into Thursday. It's been a winter full of snowy headlines. Blowing snow is really the problem here. It has we were there falling, when the blizzard blitzed Des Moines. I was goggled up in goggled. Boston, heard thunder snow ah, in Topeka. There, there we go. And covered up in Kansas City twice. Epic images from more than three feet in Connecticut, hundreds held hostage by snow on that Long Island Highway. Collapsed in Oklahoma, buildings crushed under the weight of two snows in Kansas City. But it hasn't all been where you'd expect it. Amarillo has had almost 30 inches, more than double their average, versus a typically snowier Chicago who's barely top 20. Now it's time to make up for old man winter's shortcomings. A reminder that spring isn't here yet. Let's look at how much snow is going to fall. Here in Minneapolis by tomorrow morning, it's 6 to 10. Then Chicago will get it. 6 to 10 with some locally 12. D.C. looking for more than a half foot, especially west. Some places there more than a foot. And I'm concerned, Diane, about the wind battering the east coast by the end of the week.